Hi, this is Professor Bauer. Welcome to week three of Principles of Project Management, ICT 4100. Just to look at our agenda for um, a much briefer video, uh, hopefully, uh, this time around. We'll look at last week, what we learned, uh, a little bit of a preview of this coming week. Um, a sense of what we'll be covering on Thursday night, uh, the next installment on your group project, and some preliminary assessment of the um, uh, the project, the Parachute.com project. And then finally, some thoughts on flexibility and persuasiveness for the project manager. Last week was a good week. Um, the Projects are off to a very successful start. Um, very heartening to read all the materials and grade them from week one. Um, uh, for those of you who are in uh, this kind of class for your first time, you're doing well. For the, those of you who are seasoned veterans, thanks for assisting those um, who are the rookies here. Cooperate and graduate is our motto. So keep it up. Keep up the intensity and the good work. Uh, don't let the 4th of July holiday um, um, mess you up uh, time and resource wise or better yet uh, hunker down and plan for um, that uh, time off by getting your work done early. Um, the statement of work from the Parachute.com project, the results were really good. A uh, few things that needed to be tweaked here and there, but overall you guys get the hang of it. Um, you're putting together the tools, the people, you are exercising the right degree of initiative and creativity without getting way out there. Uh, most of you were able to uh, put together the right budgets, the right personnel, and uh, understand the scope of the, uh, of the operation. So if there are any uh, questions, I did send out an announcement last week with some links that might be uh, helpful. Uh, some comparison structures for some of these things that you may want to take a look at, especially as you get into some of the uh, Microsoft Project parts of the assignment. Okay, this week, week three, complete the, uh, the readings, the, uh, the instructional materials, read and review the lecture material. You've got two discussions to add to. Um, the uh, project step-by-step -step is chapters six, seven, and eight. Um, moves pretty quickly and then finally you've got the team requirements document assignment and these are three short documents that you need to create and we'll, uh, we'll walk through them um, as well. On Thursday night we're going to talk a little bit about scope. Um, we'll look briefly at the lab assignment and then walk through um, the requirement documentation template the requirements management plan template, and the requirements traceability um, matrix template. Three documents that, starting from templates, that you'll work on uh, for this week uh, for, your, um, for, your, for your project. So just make sure that you uh, get those out and you'll be uh, fine. And remember, the rubric is still your friend. So keep that in mind. Most of you met the, um, uh, the rubric uh, and knocked it out of the ballpark. So uh, just keep it up and um, you'll do a great job. So have a great week three. Uh, happy birthday, America. And uh, uh, for my students from the Walt Disney Corporation and those of you who are heading back uh, to your work and work site after the fourth, uh, enjoy um, your last week at home um, or um, as you're starting to wrap that up, that up um, be safe and take care. Our story is about flexibility and persuasiveness which as a project manager you really can't have enough of. Um, they're an important part of how we cooperate, how we get things done. Um, sometimes you're about the only person who is really watching the clock and so you have to win not by force. Many times you have no power in, in the equation, but you have to be able to convince people. And so we turn to Aesop's fables. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago, these simple stories told profound truths. 
and I want to share with you uh, the fable about the north wind and the sun. The wind and the sun were fighting to see which could provoke uh, a human traveler to remove his clothing. It seemed that the harder that the wind blew, the more tightly the traveler wrapped his cloak around him. In contrast, the gentle warmth of the sun's rays convinces the traveler to cool off a little bit, and so he removes his cloak and bathes nearby in a gentle stream. So, the motto and the lesson here is not about bathing, but it's the fact that the gentle warmth of your persuasiveness will be more effective than blowing a lot of wind around. So keep those thoughts in mind. Have a great week, everybody.